Rechargeable battery mods for the Game Boy have gone through quite a few phases over the years. Hey guys, I'm Jay. I make retro tech restoration and modding videos. If you like that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe. I'm making new content every week. I personally love adding a USB-C charging port to the bottom of a Game Boy Color. It's a fun mod to do and helps bring your old Game Boy into the modern age. But if you're not a fan of cutting extra holes into your system, there is a more recent mod that will still give you some great recharging action. This is the Game Boy Color battery mod from Funny Playing. It utilizes the Game Boy's DC in jack for charging, leaving the Game Boy with a completely original look from the outside. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to install it. And here's the little board where all the magic happens. Alright guys, here's the Game Boy we will be using today, our donor system, a rather beaten up teal version of a Game Boy Color. I'm not sure where this one's from. Has an interesting label. I'm not sure if that's an official label or an aftermarket one. Looks like it says EUR, so maybe a Europe, European. Not sure, but this is it. Uh, let's make sure that it works really quick. Seems to work. All right, great. And then this is the DC in jack right here. So this kit is from Funny Playing and it does come with a charger that utilizes the original port. Let's go ahead and pop that out right there. Make sure that fits, does fit. Really cool idea, actually. All right, so first thing, let's go ahead and pop this thing open, get it a little bit cleaned up and then we will be installing it into this cool Charizard edition Game Boy Color today. There's three screws, take three screws out. Go ahead and pop these two tabs. And then we can just lift the board straight out. And we won't be needing any of this right now either, so I'm gonna set that to the side. All right, here's our bare board. Actually, it's pretty clean, pretty clean. So we're just gonna give it a quick scrub a little bit of alcohol. Whenever cleaning a Game Boy, you always want to make sure to scrub the volume wheel really good and give it some really good rolls. So on Funny Playing's instructions, they say the first thing that you need to do is remove the F1 fuse. That's this fuse right here. All we want to do is add a little bit of flux to that fuse. And then on the tweezers, I just like to put a little bit of solder also, make sure they're hot, good to go. Comes right off, just like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So let's drop all this stuff out of here. So it comes with two little pieces of wire, and then of course the board. Now let's see how this is gonna sit in. It has a couple points on it. It says in, out, so I believe this sets in like this. And then the first thing we have to do is solder in these three points. So there's a point right here, there's a point right here, and then there's a point right here. So all those need to solder into this power supply section of the Game Boy Color. So what we're gonna wanna do first, get our soldering iron going. We're gonna, gonna go ahead and tin these three points. We might as well tin the in and out point while we're here too. So I have it, now it looks something like that. So let's bring in our Game Boy. Go ahead and get a little bit of flux on these points. So it is this top one here, bottom one here, and this bottom one here. So let's go ahead and just set that in there. Kind of get them tacked in best you can and then we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of solder to those points and once you got it in it should look like that and now the next thing we have to do is just solder in these little wires to the in and out points connecting them to the F1 fuse points I have the Game Boy upside down right now and we're gonna start on this left one I'm just gonna solder both the wires in Get 
flip it around. We'll, sit, we'll start with this one on the right. Goes to the end point right here. Let's tack that in there. All right, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and give it a test. So we have our battery right here. All we should have to do, this should only plug in one way, but there's a little spot right here. Make sure the switch is off. Okay, it's in. And it works. It works. Very nice. Let's see if it charges. All right, guys, it looks like it's working. We have power. Our charging LEDs lighting up. Nothing feels overly hot, so I think we're good to start installing it into our Charizard Game Boy Color. Go ahead and test it really quick before we put it back together. Yep, it's working. Sometimes with these screens, you'll get like a line or something weird with this logo here. All you gotta do is uh, hold the start and select button down for like 10 seconds and it should reset the whole thing. There it goes. And then we can do it again. Let's go ahead and pick a color. Ooh, the yellow. Ooh, let's go with the orange. All right, now that we know everything's working, let's go ahead and get it back into the shell. So I think that the way I should do this is pull this back out. And I think what I want to do is feed this in here through this hole. And then I want to plug it in, probably wrap it around here. Is it long enough to do that? It's going to be kind of tough. Maybe what I should do is actually go in through this hole right here, the middle hole, and then I'll cut a little section out right here. Just a little piece of the shell right here. So that it has a little, a little area right there for the wire to lay. Doesn't get pinched. I think that's That'd be a good spot for it. Go ahead and lay that down. Plugs in. Make sure that that wire is not pinching and it is not. So let's go ahead and get a couple screws in here. Go ahead and Tuck this battery in. I'm gonna leave the springs in just because it kind of holds it in place. There we have it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about this rechargeable battery mod. I think it's a really cool alternative to doing the USB-C mod. Not so much shell modification and if you use a shell like this, where it already doesn't have the lines inside for the AA batteries. It's just, you know, it's just an open space. Makes it really simple, really easy. You don't have to do any shell modification, except I did a little bit of shell modification on the inside to run the wire, but I probably didn't even have to do that. I probably could have routed it differently. And here's a quick comparison of like what a USB-C hole might look like versus not having it. What I think would be a cool upgrade for this is actually if they got rid of the LiPo and made it so you just install the board and then you can use any brand rechargeable AA batteries and just use the charger they provide to charge those through the Game Boy. That would be actually optimal. I think that this would become like the mainstream rechargeable battery mod for Game Boys if that were the way that it worked. Overall though, I think it is really sick and it was really easy to install. Don't forget to leave the video a like and I will link everything down in the description box below if you want to do this mod for yourself. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next week.